again and I am International Master Minli and I welcome back to my channel so once again here we are to write together and trying to improve our rating in rapid right we are going to play one or two games today 10 minutes without increment to be able to get up my rating to be able to, for me to explain the things for you guys also show you some you know knowledge how to improve a chest and what I normally think when I you know spend time on the game as well so let's start right away and hopefully this can be instructive and you guys can learn something from this so let's go <coughs> okay so I got the guy Matthias 757 from Brazil d4 d5 okay guys so I mean, he opt for a very normal thing. So, what do you want to hear? What do you want to see now? You know the Queen's Gambit, or maybe the London on the Catalan. I mean, let's go for the Queen's Gambit on London. Should be the thing to ask first. There are simply plenty of things you can try and go for here. But the Queen's Gambit and London should be, I think, the most popular one, I believe. There are some Gambit here as well, maybe like the Black Mardimer or some other stuff. But this one, I think, you know, C4 and F3 and Bishop F4 should be the most familiar stuff. Okay, so there's no one here. I will try and go for my, I think, my choice only, F3. I know there are, I mean, one key viewer, that's not correct. Basically, I only get around, I think, like 80 right now, like 70 to 80. But okay, I mean, I really hope I can give you guys a good time here. And it is basically enjoyable for everyone. Let's show you five. So, knife three is not a better way to play. You can play c4 first, but this is the way to make it safer. You can always play c4 later. Also, I think knight 3 first, and then this one can be played later as well. So you can spend h4 for group 3. That's fine, right? In the game, you play h5. And this one actually is not really, really strong. I can play c4. Well, not only did I need to go after this game, but also the fact that I'm not going to play with you guys i will play randomly if you can get me that's good but the thing is that i don't want to i mean like you know play with every viewers i will play randomly which is like the plan of the speed run it's like that c6 the thing about bishop f5 earlier is that this thing i believe that this makes this pawn becoming pretty weak that's why now this is gonna be annoying see right that's why I believe that bishop f5 early is not a really strong stuff. <coughs> f6. He is to keep playing fast. But this thing, I think, simply allow me and allow us to get a free pawn. You see here? And apparently, that is yummy. Takes. Ninety-seven. Okay. A good developing move but now we're up we are up a pawn now already which obviously is a good thing since we are already up a pawn now the work to do is trying to activate and develop our process as fast as possible right i will continue with nice c3 <coughs> attacking the pawn and simply get the knight into the work G6, not a bad idea at all. But I don't see any reason why I should not go for something like this one. That may be fine, but I believe in general, if you're up a pot already, you don't really want to be that greedy and look for a second one, especially when your king is not safe. That's why I will play simple, E3.
should we do in castles first? If you guess any, if you got any questions, please ask me. Sure. He played queen b6, which obviously is a very bad move. Okay, guys, what did Black miss here, and what is a simple thing you can try to play here? What is a simple move you can play here for the win? Black simply play a very bad move, and it can be punished right away. The thing here is pretty simple. He just give us the free rook, right? Somehow he just, which is pretty unfortunate. He forget that the queen is holding the rook, so that's why now we can simply go here, right? Free rooks, and now the rook is easy. Queen b8. Okay, so now there are two different ways to win. If you want to make it, I mean like. Fast, you can even try to keep the queen on the board by means of like queen c6 probably and then go for the attack but to make it easy and understandable for you guys I will opt for the easiest option text right we can simply you know I mean exchanging into the end game since we have a rook bishop d2 get the rook out as well rook c1 very simple, which we too. I mean, I will finish my development first, and then I will start to. I mean, converting extra rook here. Nice five. Once again, another bad move. So, guys, how can we exploit this bad move here? A very general thing, and a good advice for you guys is that before you make a move, please try to see if that pieces is defending something or is the square that is going to next is hanging as well so here he once again he makes the same mistakes he forget that the knight f6 actually is defending the pawn you see right the knight f6 is defending the pawn that's why now we can simply go for that We also open up the C file in the same time. That's why now this is simply a win. And I will simply try to simplify even more. Well, Tommy, the thing is that I'm making some kind of speed run, so I need to explain together we're playing. That's why. Although it is an easy win, right? I have five. Okay, we got the knight and h5 is in the diagonal here. So why we can go knight e5. And this is very easy win. Takes a very bad news is that no, I am pretty sure I will lose you, I will lose to everybody here. Even if I have this position, like whatever, down a rook, a bishop, and several pawns is too much, actually. Now the end is near and it's easy, right? He resigned, and that is pretty quick. Yes, it is. It's pretty quick here. So let's come back to the game real quick. In the game, so okay, let's come back to the game. Sorry, d4. He played d5. So knight 3 Bishop f5. I mean, knight 3 actually is not a bad order at all. You can spend time to play here or here later. That is still fine f5 and c4 the thing about f5 is that although that is a good defending like developing move it has a drawback that this pawn now become a witness early in the opening which forces you to be pretty careful about that you understand me that is a thing that it kind of forces you to be careful that's why in the game c6 i play this one first why? Since if you play like such a queen b3, right? He can play queen b6 right away. It's one. It's one here. And then honestly, 
you can take on d5, but it could be three. You see? And that doesn't come to anywhere special. Take here, take here, and then it's only, I think, a row equal. That's why I play cd5 first. This here could be three, right? So now there is simply no queen b6 instead of queen d5. You see that? Queen b6 here simply runs into queen d5, and we win a pawn. <coughs> In the game, we sacrifice the pawn, but it's not easy. Even if you play something like, okay, let's say b6, right? It's one here. You can play like knight c3 here. It's one for the pawn. And then even like this one, this one. Wait, it looks like, okay, black is in trouble early. You see? <coughs> in the game, so he played queen b3 here. Knight f6. He sacrificed a pawn. Takes. Knight 7 And knight c3. Since now we have a pawn already, we can just simply... I mean, winning easily by activate our pieces and developing safely enough. E6, okay, he should play this one as well. E6. Defend a pawn and develop the bishops. But here is a pretty unfortunate. E3. And now this is simply a blunder. Big blunder though. He should play bishop e7 probably and castles here. Move it, maybe five. Okay, this one. This one. This is fine, I believe. But I think black can always have the defense by something like rook c8, probably. That's why I reject it. And as I mentioned in the game, when you are already up a pawn in the opening and your king is not entirely safe, I believe that, you know, make the king get into a safe position is the top priority. Instead of going for more material. But obviously if you can go for something that's winning right away, that's good. Now be fine here, you can play rook c8 and then let's say bishop f4, right? For this one, he can simply play like queen a5 for instance. When it's nowhere clear. Or he can simply play this one bishop c7 as well. I don't know. But I don't think that's like really winning, really winning, like in e5, I'm sure before. But black seems to have like some kind of play. That's why I believe that we should make our king into, we should get the king into safety first in the game. So that's why e3. And obviously, my plan is simple. Should be two castles and slowly bring him pieces out. But he just make it losing right away, right? And then this is very easy. I take the queen and should be two and I slowly activate my pieces. And this is easy at the end. I don't think it has to be like it need some explanation at the end since he dropped a phone group and at the end it's easy. So what can we learn? What can we learn from the game? I think I can give you two advices from this game. Or you can say two lessons. First of all, so, I mean, like, you know, in the, yeah, in the Queen's Gambit, the idea to go for c4, this and queen b3 here, always is a pretty, I can tell you, advisable play. Why well, can't always look for that play and go for the pawn b7 first. Second, before you make a move. With a piss. Let's see here that what is it doing here on that initial squares. So now the queen on d8 is defending the rook, right? The queen on d8 is defending the rook. That's why if you move that away, you simply, I mean, I like forget the rook on a8, right? That's why you cannot do that. So it is a very important thing to see what it is doing there before you want to move that away. You understand me? And hello Shiporo? Okay, so a sound request. Okay, sure. We can hear for that. Before I went as well, you might last boy, Ruth B. Okay, sure. We can hear that together. But okay, I will finish this uh, finish this game first. Wait for me for a while. And final thing. Final thing I want to mention is about you know when you have material already and your king is not safe. 
please try to make your king into safe position first before you capture his material more. Understand me? Okay, so that is some lessons from this game. Any questions from this? Any questions? So that three advices is like, you know, the thing I can give to you in this game. I don't think there's something more. The thing is like, every game, even if we win or we lose, there are some lessons to be learned from. So the most important thing from a game is that we can learn something from the games. I see no questions here, so hopefully you understand, understand my explanation. I need to go now so there won't be any other games. So let's stop the record. Hopefully you can understand that.